Midi mapping and koala. Oh my God. Koala just keeps getting better and better. Shout out to Elf Audio guys. Those guys are just updating constantly and giving us everything we ask for. Really quickly, now you don't have to do that crazy kind of hack with the background. So they put it in here that you can just choose an image. That's dope. I'm gonna go right into MIDI and map MIDI. Okay, we'll definitely start with pads. So you're gonna hit that one and then hit the pad and do this the whole way through. So now our pads are mapped. I'm gonna put the pitch right here and the pan right here. These I'm gonna actually leave dead just so I know it separates. And I'm gonna put my effects on here. So I'm gonna come over to perform and I'm gonna start with this row on my effects. So I'm gonna hit crush, pitch, and I'm going to go all the way through and come down to the bottom row and continue on. Hit the record right here. Um, I'll make this one play. I'll make that BPM. I'm actually going to put these sequences on my faders just because. So you guys get the hint. Once you have everything mapped how you want to just hit stop mapping and you should be ready to go. So let's go back to also you can it, it's super cool because you can map everything on the sequence page as well from your number of bars. And it's really just a matter of remembering what you mapped everything to. So I'm going to go to sample page and test it out. Beautiful. Let's try perform. Oh yeah, I put these on the faders, didn't I? Beautiful. So you see everything works great on here. Okay, so now I have my Samson keyboard controller. I'm gonna try to map that out to this and see if it works okay. And you just do that the same way, beautiful. Okay, on this one, the play's not working. Okay, we got the tempo. Okay, so I put the volume and the modulation here. Pitch bend I can't do though. That sucks. So the thing with this little keyboard, it's limited. You're not gonna get like everything you want mapped. Like it only has eight knobs. So this is just, you know, quick if you had something you wanted to use on the go. You see, I couldn't get the play going. But I mean, this could work for you if you know there's a couple of effects you're not gonna use or you don't wanna put on there. But nothing's better than having that um, 
that XL or any other controller that you have that you can put so much on. So I'm going to switch devices again to something else. So I'm just going to hook my M audio keyboard up a uh, controller just to show you it has way more uh, knobs and faders and just to test it out, make sure, you know, it's working with pretty much all these controllers. I have all these MIDI controllers. So because I don't have enough faders, I'm just going to continue mapping right over onto these knobs and see if it works. So yeah, I was able to get all my effects mapped to these faders and these knobs and I'll just switch back and forth. And, um, I put everything, I could have put these, uh, pads on the keys, but why not put them on the pads? So I mapped the pads from Koala into the pads of M audio. I'm just going to go through and make sure everything works okay. So you see everything is working smoothly. The only thing I had a couple of problems with, and that's not the app's fault, was the Samson. It's weird like that with certain things, but everything else pretty much works. I have a ton of other MIDI controllers I'm gonna hook up and, and see. I'm not gonna show you guys all of it. I think you pretty much got the hint. I just wanted to do a quick video just to show you how awesome this mapping is on Koala. It is changing the game koala elf audio you guys at koala are doing a great job you're giving us everything we ask for in these updates and it just gets better and better shout out to elf audio you guys are doing a great job this app is amazing it quickly moved up into my top five spot because this just changed the game i know i'm quoted as saying on my podcast what's in your ipad about music apps and production that I'll probably never go back into the Koala app itself being they dropped Koala effects and I use the effects in Beatmaker 3 and it's just an unstoppable combination. But this update definitely changed my mind. I'll definitely be in Koala having tons of fun with these MIDI controllers. And also check out WeSampleEverything.com. Some great contests on there. We have a weekly podcast discussing music production. We get in depth on these apps and, and updates and what's on sale and what drops. But hit that like, subscribe, and thanks for watching, guys. Peace.